Hey there, it's Butterfly. This is a quick, quick video. Um, basically, I showed you a lot of the pressed flowers that I had um, stored up from last year, pressed between books. And I just wanted to kind of give you an update as to, you know, how things are working. Now, of course, if I had super sexy editing software and oodles of time, I'd be doing it differently. But um, this works for me couple of short videos every so often just to sort of give you a bit of an update and it uh, is sharing with you kind of like a play-by-play -play for the, um, the just the art techniques that I'm using and it might help you in your kind of journal work and your artwork so uh, previous video pressed flowers I made them I showed them there you are what I did since then is I took this, this is becoming a really cool favorite of mine. It's just that kind of wrapping paper that you use and you would probably not really pay attention to. I've been using it as tracing paper for a lot of my sheets so that I can write straight lines and then I just glue them onto um, like onto another sheet of paper and that way you have straight writing that's sort of glued right on. But I found another use for them. So this is the kind of paper you would unwrap and um, stuff into like a gift bag, you know, and they come in all kinds of colors, but I invest in the white stuff because it's just more uh, versatile. Now this, this is the ooh ah that I wanted to show you. These are basically just weeds that I found around and flowers from my garden and places, um, you know, within walking distance. Um, I don't know if you can zoom in, but that's the gout weed and the other kind of flowers and stuff that I showed you a little earlier. Uh, and then you cut them out. So there's really no need to start buying huge amounts of anything um, to decorate your, your journals. You see here, there's a flower petal. So just like I did with that, uh, you cut around after it's dried. Of course, I'll cut that better when I want to put it into my book. So there's some clovers. And if you want to put paper on both sides, they're going to end up looking a bit like this on both sides. So I didn't sandwich them. That paper is really not very good, and my cat's coming to chew my... Oh, I don't know. Anyways, I just wanted to do it on one side, not sandwich it on both sides, okay? This is a really pretty, delicate flower. You know, I put... I put cat... Come on, man. I took bright lights because I thought it was going to help, but I really don't think it does. That might be even be better. Anyways, there's petals all the way around there, you can see. It's lovely. And then, of course, my favorite, which are the pansies. Okay. Um, I don't think my camera is really doing it justice, but there's little flowers. This is yarrow. Um, so I guess you could probably picture how that would look if you were to put that in um, your journal work. But if you put it on plain paper, this is the kind of thing that you do. You just put more glue, and it's just white glue. White, or, oh, <laughs> we can all identify that. Okay. I put myself into my work, right? So very much into tea. So there's the large one with the fluted flowers that I was kind of putting together. There's a little bit of flower surgery there uh, to kind of assemble that. Um, and then that. Okay, so there's a little flip de doo that you might want to kind of, or if your paper is a little bit more kind of embellished, these are the way that I kind of put, I glue the pansies onto some uh, paper. And then you can do your journal work. Now, this is something I'm going to research actually because I found this happened a couple of times. You get one kind of a male looking part here with a whole lot of pansies. Um, I thought it was kind of like, it's actually attached. It's, it's part of it. And it's I've happened with a couple of my, see, look here. This, this little bit here. Again, a group of pansies, and then you get one, like, male part that's attached to the flower. That's just not what I know about flowers. I always thought flowers had their male and female parts all within the, the same flower. That's what we learned in grade school. But um, something's happening here with these pansies in my yard. Some 
some funky phallus thing is going on, so I'm going to have to do some research on that. Anyways, so it's a five minute video. I just wanted to touch base with you. Um, oh, look at how this one turned out. Another kind of piece of weed, but you know what? It's going to look really lovely. I think I'm going to put this on my page for uh, Lamas. It's, um, it's a sabbat, for, for, for those who don't know, but it kind of looks like wheat. So it'll be a nice decoration for a page that kind of celebrates that uh, sabbat. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you and let you know how things are going with this uh, journaling. Take care. Bye-bye.